Hey there, this is Mark Friedman from Tulip, and I want to share with you a new app we're adding to the library. This is um, you know, more like a tool, actually, and Tulip is really a tool, but in this case, it's a very specific tool. It's a tool for doing SPC, so uh, statistical process control. And just a really brief um, you know, you know, summary of what that is, is a lot of times people are doing maybe measurements of, of, you know, of items or parts coming off of a machine. Maybe they're checking the diameter or other dimensions, and they want to just they, they want to trend this information. They want to record this information and trend it. And they're actually interested in seeing, you know, what is the process capability? Like, how, how much can I actually hold this tolerance that I'm being asked to hold? And maybe that means you have to write new programs or get new tooling or, you know, something of this nature. So there's also other things you can do, like you might be interested to see that your, your, you know, your measurements are drifting. And that might mean that your tool is wearing or, you know, these sorts of things. So there's a lot of reasons people would use SPC um, to look at their process capability and to do run charting. So I'm going to show you an example of that with Tulip. Here I'm going to add a uh, you know a new measurement, so I'm going to add 1.2 to the measurement, and so I just measured my part, and you can see it's just going to do some analysis here, and it's going to chart that information, and um, that's that's basically all that the person would do at their computer. So you see that it's starting to move, and I get an alert. So the alert says I have a below average alert, um, which means that I have, according to my threshold, three or more in a row. Um, where my values are below my average. And this is a problem because you really want this thing to be like normally distributed. And if it's not and it's below the average, that could be an alert. So now let's start going, maybe, maybe it's gonna start trending upwards. So we're at 1.2, uh, now we're at 1.3, now we'll do 1.4, and then maybe we'll do 1.5. And you know, after moving in this direction, look, we're getting a new, a new alert. The alert says values drifting towards the upper spec limit. So you know, the whole while we're capturing CPK, all this data can be stored and aggregated over time. Uh, and this can be sending alerts to your manufacturing engineers, maybe, or your programmers. So, you know, this is a really simple tool. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff in the product where this is all sort of built in automatically. We'll have a whole new SBC module. Um, but for now, you know, you can build this stuff with the tools that you have available to you. So uh, if you're interested in this, let me know. Thanks.